My name is Jose Mahafiz. I've been working with the All Foundation for about two years now as a programs assistant. But currently, I am internal apprenticeship mentor. You know, Adam Sabida. Can't turn the All Foundation. It's my moon, but there's no you, my young brother. Daniel, a program assistant. I'm a pump on Lela Mabinogo, instructional assistant. Hi, my name is Nabia Chambas. I've been working with the All Foundation for two years now. I used to be an outreach, Kai outreach manager, but currently I am the programs manager for the Kai programming. The Mabugu program has really grown so much because our program itself is very special, okay? And the team that um, are overlooking this program are also very special. We've grown from a team of just two people to five people now, and everyone has a role to play in supporting these women, which I feel like um, we've done so well for over the year. Last year, we had only placed 42 women, but currently we've placed about 100 women in our program, and I think that's really been impactful for the women. Our apprenticeship has grown so much. We have internal apprentices who are working internally with different departments, and we also have apprentices who are outside, not just in Accra, but also in the Northern region. And we currently have them graduated, and most of them are doing non-traditional roles because our apprenticeship is in two different ways. So looking at our non-traditional pathways where normally you would find male or male-dominant um, roles in those apprenticeship, we decided that it would be great to open those roles for women to also partake and see how best they can also develop in such aspects. And I can remember having to convince these women to even choose tiling, woodwork, building and construction. It was, it was a very difficult thing. But now, if you see them doing their work, it doesn't even feel like it's a woman or a man doing it. I'm a gender house. I'm a pastor. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a so be my yell master, a yell man, a man yen zangle and cana or foundation. Cut a tea, lange and bag a tea and bash up. Ca the home melazon tea. Dundman by Dundong my phone. Lamp a hat and die and pee yell man. Brabella or Fadama, women dabby or Fadama, my cut a monta mamma, my maca, Niman of the home, a buzz on tobacco. So Catrabo de Hagushi, in that chunk the year by year, the Labna Niman. Pern Labo be dama and a cab of me, damani Yem Rusted Duncaba a la Fisham Zoo. But I bought dama and a yibo. So Cabami dama and a mini bisham, madam, my lad, dare, Muhe, sare, do soon a cobzare. Then be dama and my bowler come do in a la Niman. But me, we is on bowler come not to so on the man, and the cutting and chunship of Pahla dama and a caracon, but me, but me be a non champahla be in your lemon. But me, you had lying, you hama. The butcher ship of Pahla de Belen la dama and a carachaka of Kappa Sarama a la fee. Smoking a bundy dama and a lapton born of a bishop pullman. Bring your cup of Pamele a la fee, nub the son she and Garbon dad be dama and yet the abo with the hapopon and Garbon dad be dama and a shop. But I didn't love you, man. The Zahara and Yella Bazar and Yella Banzora, so come that door la or do la Catalunaca, lads or mad, can and going in his own to pass Sarama, bed up with who does on to pass Sarama, Catamanta Pamarajin, Baggy, Catamelli, Jim Bag, commented Bumson, some Zanson pass Sarama, and Bonan going as on Taba. There's a Catra Bobanzira. Zang in the passer, my ever drama. Pahay got a boot the lads. The welcome trader la lads. Perla don't to me to me, my mother, to be man a cellar, don't drum my fool. No so carcass, I shake up the lads, the ladder, the bella high. 
ama tan pabtile la anju ma rashan ka bin sha kan balgan zan tete na ka tan kul dindon ma na me da bjahu man la dagban an yi ku da yin shan da zo ka ta ce ka dagban ta me ka paaba tan pan paaba bo bo dar je gbana zura ta me ne nyetan pan nan ma da zo ta nan man man ta nan chan funan ta bot ta ban bra in fahra ku na ta in zura da zo tan kul jil ma na da bjahu man la la ra zura cham ka ta bo irin la ban bra ban bra ma zan nan dun dun ma na din yin nan ka ta man man to in yir na ta fu halan to mal zu ra kan me ta da la fi da ma tan nin ni ka ra be ma ra ka san ban ni ka ra be da ra da ra zu ka tan nan ka blan yi san ban fu ni da la ban yi har ma da zu ka ra che ka ni nyam bo be dun dun ma ni ka ta mal ti ra ka man yin fu lo tan yi ban ka chan fu ni in fu har ban yi har shan da zu ra chan ka ta mal su du ka filar ka man da ban ka ta be ma when he started chiropractic research it was very difficult to convince the women in the market but as time went by we were able to convince them and they were open to join the research to learn how the head carrying affects their spine and after the research we decided to place them in apprenticeship through that we took them through orientation to learn about the all foundation and to upcycle and recycle old clothes to new clues like three rows, faces, like kilos and this, <laughs> and tote bags. And they are very beautiful. And I'm very grateful they are learning something from the old materials to new ones. We have also improved in our classes. We have so many classes. I remember um, <laughs> last year we were looking at how we could include classes to the program and now we have um, the English class which has been very helpful. Most of these women can do basic things like transferring money to their mobile money account, being able to give basic information about themselves. Um, we have the sexual reproductive health and rights um, education where we have two in-house nurses that come in every week to support these women in our health care and also teaching these women how to take care of themselves. We have the swimming class. How has it been going? <laughs> I remember when we first went to the swimming class. Yes. They didn't want to go inside the water. They said they were afraid. But now. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to go for the swimming <laughs> class. And it's it's been a, a great year. Like toggling between um, supporting the women, growing a team, um, improving on our programs and we're still hoping to improve more things because as I said our project is very special and special care is taken to implement these programs that you see end results of the women doing specific skills training but there's a lot that actually goes in it there's traveling in and out of the northern region going out and then doing other advocacies in Europe and all that it's been very great and we're hoping this year we improve on a lot and we're able to support and impact people as part of our programs we initiated our scholarship program last year and we enrolled one girl into the program and as we speak now, we have five new girls that we're hoping to support in education and the educational aspects, like in terms of stipend, um, tuition, um, books, accommodation, to support Kaiyas who used to head carry but also want to go back to school. <laughs> nyani ni sun pam zan pa mamam ze ha polo ni ni se nan amun da da man mi yan lam borogo da man da ba mi anyan pe selo ka be ba sham when i first joined the all foundation i didn't know how to use the sewing machine but now i can use the machine to sew something beautiful like to use old clothes to make something beautiful from it and i'm very grateful with that i also have grown so much i remember having to you know manage a team it was it was something i wondered if i could ever even do it but now having to understand every individual and respecting their backgrounds and also learning from each and every individual it has really 
helped me learn how to manage our team and also there's so much I will continue to learn because there are going to be new people joining in our team. So yeah, I think it's 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 been very educative. Yes, it hasn't been easy, but it's, it's been very educative. <laughs> Our hope for next year is to be able to educate the public, the northern region or the communities these women are coming from, to educate them, empower them, to understand the impact of head carrying like past certain threshold because that is where the problem begins. So we're hoping that we're able to educate these communities, the general public, the market, on the impact of head carrying.